Hello everyone and welcome to my newly refreshed YouTube channel, Draw Too Much. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Uh, this is going to be a very quick drawing and a little bit of stupid conversation. Um, my wife sleeps in the room right next door, so I gotta be really quiet because it's 12.10 in the morning and I don't want to wake her up and these walls are paper paper thin. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a series of pencil sketches on my digital tablet of course uh, but I'm gonna be doing thumbnail sketches so basically I'm gonna take a drawing of Bill Gates here since I already did Tim Cook from Apple figured I'd go ahead and grab his nemesis and try and draw him and just do a couple of um, quick five minute um, thumbnail sketches and then from there if I like what I see maybe I'll take one of them and spend maybe ten minutes on refining it um, it's in these moments that I get a little bit nervous. This is actually my third attempt of trying to record this. Um, and the reason why is because we all see celebrities in a certain light and, and you want to, and you want to get this exactly right, you know, and that's not always the case. So I figured we'd talk about this a little bit and, uh, and just have our fun little chat like we always do, uh, while I do some drawing. So I got a stopwatch going on here. It's set for five minutes. I'm going to start it up and I'm going to start sketching a little bit. Okay. So three, two, one, let's go. And one thing I'm going to do is I am going to change my pencil to a different color this time. I've been drawing in grays, and that's fine. But I find sometimes if I just loosen up a little bit, um, I can get more done if I change my color up. So I'm going to change my color this time to uh, red and see if maybe I can define out some stuff a little bit quicker. Um, and basically my goal is to do just have some fun. I need to, I need to loosen up a little bit. I think, and I'm, I watch other YouTubers or other caricaturists or whatever, and they just have such beautiful artwork, and I and I see that it's just so extremely exaggerated from the 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 original image that they used, and and my mind is blown. Like, why on earth can't I do that? And I think it's because honestly, I'm so uptight in getting my artwork correct that I lose out on um, the opportunity to over-exaggerate something to beautify it. And so uh, sometimes it takes a little bit of loosening up. Um, there have been very, very few times that I've actually done a piece that I feel is really beautifully exaggerated. And um, it's, it's a challenge. But that's, that's all part of caricature. You know, it depends on how far you want to push yourself or not push yourself. And... Uh, um, when it comes down to it, you, you just got to go with your gut sometimes and uh, either go with your gut or become very serious about what you're doing and, and do it exactly the way that you feel like you should do it. And maybe that's not exactly what you wanted, but you do your best. So anyway, I'm just getting in some basic forms here for this first pencil sketch and I might not even get it done in five minutes. Uh, for every one of these other sketches I was doing, I was getting it done in five, but so far, I kind of like the flow of this one, so I'm just kind of going off of that that uh, triangle of the face that I told you guys about a couple episodes ago. Um, and by the way, hey, look, um, I may as well talk to you guys about this too. Um, I made another change, and you may have noticed. Uh, if you've been on the YouTube channel here for a while, you know that this YouTube channel has been called Tim Michael for, for years. And before that, it was called uh, Tim Michael Arts, and, uh, and it has magically changed and now it's draw too much. Why on earth did that happen, Tim? Well, no special reason. I'm just trying to clean things up a little bit and I love the name draw too much. Um, the, the draw too much is the name of someone who inspired me to become the artist that I am today. And, uh, and it's kind of my homage to her, um, for, for all of the, uh, blessing that she was in my life to inspire me at a very young age when I was about 11 years old. Um, I used to attend uh, a church with her, and she was actually my sister's best friend, and I think they still keep in touch to this day. And I just, I loved watching her draw, and she drew anime. And and it was really cool. And now, her login name on AIM, for those of you who uh, may be old enough to remember AOL Instant Messenger, it's, it's probably still a thing. I don't know if they're able to keep it going or not, but... Um, her a AIM was draw too much and and I know that she still actually uses that login still and I kind of stole it from her 
<laughs> for for my business. And I apologized profusely. I even offered to give her the domain and everything. But in my head, I was going, please don't accept it. And she didn't. And I've tried to find a way to make a business out of it for years. And I just decided the other day that, you know what, I really want to see um, a separation of my name from my artwork. Um, because Tim Michael is, I'm known as Tim Michael, and I'm known for being a caricaturist. A lot of you guys know I'm an artist, right? And and this is what I do, and, and this is what I love to do. And that's a very true statement, but that is only, this is only just a very, very, very small part of what my passion is. And, and I, I don't have, all my tech is over here and stuff, but I'm also a cinematographer. I'm also a graphic designer. I'm also a uh, YouTuber, to be obvious. And, and so many other things. I think this looks really, really, really good. I think it's a decent sketch of him. Um, but we're at 33 seconds. So I'm going to go ahead and shrink this head down a little bit. And grab a new one. And my clock's going to go off in 25 seconds. So I'm just going to go ahead and restart it. And we're going to go in with our next uh, thumbnail sketch and see if we can come up with something a little different. Okay, and restart. Three, two, one, go! Um, so... In, in the same in the same way that uh, like I'm saying that my name is known for just art I want it to be known for so much more and so basically what I've decided to do is remove Tim Michael Arts from the factor that's here I don't want this to be known as Tim Michael Arts anymore Tim Michael is a person um, draw too much draw too much is a um, uh, I said I, I put it this way on my Instagram the other day uh, draw too much is a movement Draw too much is what we live by. There's no such thing as draw too much. And and that's the point that I want to make. And that's the thing I want to push. Is that when it comes down to it, um, we can never draw too much. And it's it's our passion. And, and, and it should be something that we drive for to, to go above and beyond what everyone else is going to do. And push that extra mile to get the success that we're looking for. And, and that's what draw too much is. And so my goal, my hope, is that you guys are going to make this become that movement and that people are going to push for bigger and better in your life as you become bigger and deeper artists and stronger in your trade. And hopefully this will be the, the push that will get you there. And part of doing that was also bringing back the old tutorials. And you guys might remember the tutorials that I used to sell. Uh, three minutes and 34 seconds left on this one. Um, I'm going to try and exaggerate this cheek a bit more, maybe this time. Um, the um, old tutorials that I had, I removed, and I only put them up on my Patreon site, and all of my patrons could get those uh, because they were patrons. And I just realized that, you know what, there are people in the world who don't want to be patrons, but they still want the tutorials. And so that's why we opened up DrawTooMuch.com. And DrawTooMuch.com is now open, and you can go and get those advanced tutorials that used to only be available for patrons. And uh, and that's been doing decently. I've, I've had a sale or two since I've opened it again, which is great. Um, and, and if you're interested, stop on by. Check it out. And uh, 2 minutes and 46 seconds. And I want to really get this neck kind of crazy here. I, I, I love the feeling of his neck, and I just want to kind of go crazy with that. Um, where am I going with all this stuff? <laughs> anyway, um, so please do not be surprised if you've seen this change happen. You're wondering what on earth is going on. Um, that, that's what's going on. I'm just trying to clean things up a little bit and trying to make sense of, um, make sense of what goes where. Because you guys, I want you to be able to come here and see, oh, draw too much. So that means he's doing a, a drawing today or... Um, my other channel, The RC Newbie, where I work with uh, quads, or another channel which is uh, Legacy Studio Reviews, where I review tech, tech and camera gear and such, or um, another one of my channels which is Legacy Studio Productions, which is actually the main name of my business where I do all sorts of crazy stuff. All of this is encompassing of Legacy Studio Productions. Um, and and the list just goes on and on and on of uh, minute 42. Um goes on and on and on of what I do. And I want Tim Michael or Tim Michael Arts to be me. I don't want that just to be caricatures. I want that to be me. I want you guys to know when you see Tim Michael Arts on Instagram, you're not seeing just the art. I want you to see all of my arts. 
from my video side to my quad side to everything. And that's me personally. And so basically I'm just trying to separate myself from both those worlds, if that makes any sense. That one's kind of cool too, actually. I think the first one has a better likeness, but I like the stretch that I gave the second one. A minute left, so I'm just going to go ahead and shrink this one down, and I think we'll try another one. So I'll go ahead and stop the timer again, and we'll make a new layer again. And this one, I want to go for uh, nose to back of the ear exaggeration this time, maybe. And we'll see how this does. All right, timer has started again. And this one is going to be a little different, so let's see how I can do this. Uh, we'll start off with the nose, and uh, yeah, so like this. And I feel like it does come up a bit like this. And then the eyebrow, and then the eye, which I can do another line here, draw kind of my triangle here. And see if I can get these eyes in here kind of roughly. And then scoop this all the way back here. And I'm just going to go crazy. Put the ear way back there. That's a bit overkill. But this is the idea of thumbnails. It's just to get a theory of what's too much and what's too little. Um, smush this in. Get these bar teeth across the way here. There we go. And bottom lip kind of looks like an Al Hirschfeld sketch, which I love Al Hirschfeld to, to do his style would be amazing. And if you guys haven't looked up Al Hirschfeld, you should. So I'll get these crazy little eye glasses in here. And I, that's the line I wanted. I wanted that really line back to the glass, long line back to the glasses. Uh, I'll kind of give them this and take this back here. And I want that cheek to protrude a bit more. And then like that. And then this long, crazy neck. And then from there, we can take it down to uh, these super tall, uh, exaggerated shirt here like this. And take that down. And then since I've been pushing everything into the eyes, maybe I'll bring the hair in a bit closer this time and try and get that little peak there that he's got and then this line kind of goes this way and back down and that can come this way anyway <sighs> okay that doesn't look too bad Two minutes and 31 seconds, so that wasn't too bad for a three minute sketch. And um, I can start kind of, since I may feel good about one way or another, I could actually start taking one of these and start coloring it, manipulating it to, to give it the, you know, some more of him in there. So I'm, you know what? I'm, I'm not a big fan of this sketch that I'm working on right now, but I feel feel the first one would get me closest to him this one is the most exaggerated so it makes me kind of want to work on that one so maybe I'll do that I this may be just the wrong move but I'm gonna give it a shot and we're gonna invest 10 minutes into it okay so we're gonna do the countdown for 10 minutes and we're just gonna see where this one goes okay three two one go so this one's gonna be kind of the defining factor and we'll get rid of that one and that one. And I'm also going to pull Billy Boy down here a little bit so I can get a little bit of a better visual of him as I'm working here. And I'm going to dim the layer here of my individual sketch. And we're just going to start reconstructing it again and see if I can get some better form off of what I'm digging here. Anyway, guys, that's basically what's going on. There's some bigger stuff that, that's happening um, that I'm kind of excited. Well, I'm super excited about, and I have no idea if it's actually going to happen or not. But if it does, it means that uh, some of my dreams that I've had for my business, for, for stuff like that, may come true to an extent. And it's either going to be a quick 
one-off thing that's going to be something I'm never going to forget, or it's going to be something that um, that could maybe go somewhere and become something extra. I have no idea. So I can't tell you what it is for right now, and I don't even know if I can tell you when it's happening. But um, if, if the opportunity allows and I can get permission to, if it actually happens, then I'll let you know. But uh, for now, nothing's changed. And, uh, and it's just a, a continuing flow of having fun with you guys and celebrating and what we do together is, as cartoonists and caricaturists and, and just keep, keep working on uh, artwork that we love, you know? There's nothing wrong with being passionate about this stuff. So I'm just going to give him some basically some small... There we go. My goal here at this point in time is going to be to work on tone a little bit and just kind of get a feel of, of tone. Um, and I have no idea how, how good or bad this is going to turn out. So... feel like this little chin here is like super jutty and then as soon as it gets here it just disappears and then kind of his chin reappears here as it leads up to the ear the ear is relatively small Like I said, guys, I'm not going to work on this for too long. Uh, one of the things I want to do is is do some advanced tutorials that'll show up on Draw Too Much, where where maybe it will be like a celebrity that I will basically show how I drew them and stuff like that. So I'm going to be looking for content that can go up on Draw Too Much at times. Um, I'm still going to give you guys great content here, as I always have, but uh, definitely looking forward to seeing maybe what 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 we can do to get draw too much out there a bit more. Start making that something special. Okay. Nice crazy little tiny eyes. and capture these bags under his eyes. I find that drawing bags under the eyes can be very, very difficult because you really don't know how much or how little to add to those kinds of shapes. Part of me feels them in there, though. I kind of like it. Part of me feels it. Another part of me doesn't at all. <laughs> I think that's part of the problem is it's really easy to get legalistic on what you're seeing and want to getting and wanting to get everything exactly correct, um, which is obviously key. But I mean, in the end, uh, I've said it before on um, an old old video that you really need to focus on drawing essence and not likeness, uh, because if you can capture a person's personality in a sketch. Um, it's gonna it's gonna show them so much more and so much broader than um, than a exact match of them can uh, because quite honestly a portrait is a portrait of a person which is cool but there's still nothing like um, finding personality in that in that individual instead of just um, instead of just getting a likeness there's there's more to that person than just what you can capture in, in a generalized piece. This is kind of interesting. You got this long bar that juts out to the sides of the glasses and then that can go like that. The hair, the head, forehead isn't quite tall enough so Maybe I'll exaggerate the, the head a little bit. And, and my original goal was to exaggerate by putting the forehead smaller. But once I see it and I realize that the likeness is, 
is there in his face, but it's not there in his hair and his head, then that's where you got to rethink things and adjust a little. This is a guy who just can't seem to get his hair right in the morning. He's, he's a multi-millionaire, billionaire, whatever he is now. One of the richest guys in the world, apparently. And, and haircuts? Who, who needs to worry about haircuts? <laughs> he's also got this really great, really hard jut right here that just shoot, shoots out the back of his head. And comes down this way and I got three minutes left so in those last three minutes maybe I'll put some uh, put some tone in here see if we can't build up a little bit of tone in this face let's see what happens uh, new layer just to play it safe and I'm just gonna go ahead and just put in a quick rash of tone Still feels a bit dark, so I'm just going to go ahead and back up here a little. And whoops. Um, nope, don't do that. Now my computer's freaking out. <laughs> and I lost that, so I'm just not even going to worry about that. So very quickly. There we go. So hopefully that gives us a little bit of tone to work with. Um, two minutes left. I may extend my timer. Um, because I'm having fun and I break my own rules if I'm having fun so I'm just gonna go back here and quickly reapply this maybe we'll extend it another five minutes how long has this video been so far 21 minutes it's not terrible at this point in time I've given up trying to do short videos if people don't like it they don't have to keep watching but there's people who apparently seem to enjoy longer videos, and that's obviously something I provide quite well. So, a minute and 38 seconds left. Let's go back here and see what I can do to start really giving him some tone in his face and such. So I'm going to mix a couple of these layers up so I can blend them. So now that whole thing should turn off. And I can turn off the background, and boy, that, that does kind of look like him, doesn't it? I think with a bit of tone, it's going to help out. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the timer. I'll do ten. Five or ten. Five. We'll do five. And see about how far I get. Set and start. Okay. Five minutes left. So i got to create something in the last five minutes, hopefully. So we'll go ahead and start with the nose here. And I'm just going to go ahead and start adding some shadows and such. Obviously that's going to be pitch black. And serious black. <laughs> and then this can go... I'm going to maybe do some of this with my airbrush. Just due to lack of time and a desire to quickly complete some key things. That I could just as easily blend in if I like what I'm seeing. pretty heavy right there and let's get some of this in here okay and how's this cheek look this area looks a little darker not by much though but I'll just go ahead and just kind of do an overall wash of darker on that side of the face on that part of the chin and the reason why I'm just doing these overall washes is because I can go in here in a second and completely, you know, change everything about it. So I can get a kind of a, a quick feel for 
maybe what needs that shadow and what doesn't. Um, choo -choo. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So um, let's go ahead and try something different here. We're going to go to tone correction, hue and saturation. And basically now I'm just going to go ahead and start taking it towards actual skin tones. Uh, let's add some more saturation and some brightness. There we go. It's starting to be a bit more skin wise. So we'll start with that. Oops. And now I can use this skin tone to start figuring out what I want to do. Um, another thing I can do, and a lot of, there's some artists who would agree or disagree with this, but I could sample colors off of his face and build this up off of his face as if, if I was really desperate to, which I'm not entirely desperate to, but um, I'm going to quickly just figure out a couple little things here in my last two minutes or one minute that I have just to kind of get some structure here. Not as much shading down there. Forty-eight seconds left, and I'm not a big fan of what I got going on here, but whatever. Whatever. I'm not picky. For the last little bit here, I'm just going to blend some things. Eighteen seconds. Four, three, two, one, and that's it. Time's up. Uh, there are definitely some forms that I would change. We can also reverse this and see how much I would change. Uh, I would do a little bit more to the nose. I would adjust some of the eye stuff and everything. But all in all, it's not terrible. It's not too bad. So I had fun. I hope you guys had fun too. That's a good start of a sketch. Um, maybe it's something we can continue on. If you've enjoyed this and you want to see this continued, leave a note in the comments below that you'd like to see more. But otherwise, I think that was a lot of fun. And I actually feel pretty good about it on both sides. So, yeah. Thanks for hanging out with me, guys. I will see you next time here on Draw Too Much. I'm your host, Tim Michael. And that's what I want to say. Because this is all about drawing. And I'm just that guy who gets to push it along. I'll see you guys next time. Make sure to take a look at all my crazy stuff. DrawTooMuch.com for advanced tutorials. LegacyStudioProductions.net if you want to see everything I'm up to. And, of course, follow me on Instagram at at Tim Michael Arts. Thanks guys. I'll see ya.